Hello. In this video, I will explain blackout settings for execution plans in TrueSight Synthetic Monitor. In the Edit Execution Plan dialog box, you have the option for setting blackout periods for your execution plan. By default, no blackout periods are configured. The Blackout section is the last section in the Edit Execution Plan dialog box. Click Add Blackout to open the Blackout Settings dialog box. In Description, you can enter a description for your blackout period. This can be useful as a reminder of the purpose of the blackout period, for example, a maintenance window. Select a time zone for your blackout period. There are two options available for time zone. The first is UTC, which is Coordinated Universal Time. This is a standard time zone that is exactly the same wherever you are in the world. It can be especially useful if you're implementing a blackout on a number of execution plans in a number of locations. The other option is T-Agent Time, which is the time zone that is configured on the computer where the T-Agent that is running the execution plan is installed. Note that the time zone you select here may not be the time zone of the application being monitored or the time zone set in the user preferences of your presentation server. For example, let's say your presentation server is configured according to Houston time and you're setting a blackout period for an execution plan that runs on a T agent that is located in London. If you select T agent time, the blackout period will be scheduled according to London time, a difference of six hours. Select Effective Immediately to have the blackout period take effect immediately. This does not mean that the execution plan will be blacked out immediately. It means that starting now, the blackout schedule takes effect. The actual blackout will occur at its scheduled time. Select Effective From to set a specific time and date from when you want the blackout schedule to take effect. When you select Effective From, the time that is initially displayed is the current time according to the user preferences in your presentation server. But the time you set here is actually based on your time zone selection above, either UTC or T-Agent local time. To explain, we'll continue with our time zone example from earlier. In our example, your presentation server is set to Houston time, and your T-Agent is set to London time. If you now select Effective From, the time you see here initially is the current time in Houston, which is six hours behind the time of your T-Agent. This means that your blackout schedule will only take effect in another six hours. Select Never Expire to set the blackout schedule to keep running forever, or select Expire On to select a specific date and time when you want the blackout to stop running. Once again, these times are based on your selections above. In the Recurrent section, set the times and days when you want the blackout to be in effect. Select All Day for a blackout that lasts an entire day, from midnight to midnight, or select a specific start time and end time for your blackout. These times are also according to the time zone settings that you selected above. Note that blackout periods are on a daily basis. This means that to configure a blackout period that spans midnight, you need to configure two blackout periods. For example, to configure a blackout period from 11 p.m. until 1 a.m., you would set one blackout period from 11 p.m. until midnight, and then a second blackout period from midnight until 1 a.m. Select one or more days of the week for the blackout to occur on those specific days. Click Save to save your blackout period. Your blackout period is displayed in the table in the blackout section. There is no limit on the number of blackouts you can define for an execution plan. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope it was helpful.